Okay, so let's take a look at how to do question number 12 here in unit 5. So what we have is we have a, um, a problem where we're, we're asked to find the maximum amount of revenue that we can generate by increasing the ticket prices um, a certain amount. Okay, so the first thing let's do here is let's write down what our uh, revenue function is. So revenue... Okay, which is the amount of money you bring in in a business is equal to the cost of tickets okay, that we're going to sell okay, times the number of tickets sold. Okay, so what we're trying to do is we're going to have to dem uh, develop an expression for, for this revenue expression based on the number of tickets and uh, the cost of the tickets. So it tells us here that um, we would sell 700 tickets at $3 a piece, and at that price, all the seats are filled. But then the owner says that if we increase the price of the ticket, um, the attendance will fall by 100 for every dollar increase. So what ticket price results in the greatest revenue? So what we actually have to do is we have to count the number of ticket price increments. Okay, so we're going to create a, we'll just have a little variable here, or a let statement. We'll say let x is equal to the number of $1 increases in price. Okay, so we're going to count how many times we can increase the price by $1, um, and then that's going to we're going to generate a function out of that or a, an expression that's going to calculate the revenue for us. Okay, so let's just go back here. We'll, we'll say revenue here is the letter, uh, well, we'll use R for revenue here because it's be a little bit easier to understand. So revenue is equal to the cost of the tickets. Okay, so we know that if we don't change the price of a ticket, we're going to start at $3. Okay, and then we are going to increase the price of the ticket by $1 every time. So how do we express that as a cost increase of the number of tickets? Well, we were going to start with $3 and then we are going to add our X dollar increment um, to, to derive an expression for the cost. Okay, so this is going to be the new cost of our tickets. So our base is $3. And then X is going to represent the number of $1 increases in price. So if we increase the price by $1, that means X is 1 and our new price is $4. Okay, if we increase, so if we start at 3 <clears throat> and we increase and we don't increase the price, then our, our price stays at 3. If we start at 3 and we increase the price by a dollar, that means our new ticket price is 4. And if we start at three and we increase the price by two dollars, that means our new ticket price is five. Okay, so that's what that expression is telling us on how we can generate that. Now we have to calculate how many tickets we sell. Well, we know that when we have a three dollar uh, price, we are going to have 700 tickets being sold. But every time we increase the price by one dollar, okay, which is what X is telling us, we drop by a hundred times that price increase um, from the total, okay? So that means <clears throat> if we start at 700 and we increase the price by one dollar, we drop a hundred fans. If we start at 700 and we increase the price by two dollars, we're going to drop 200 fans, okay? So the expression, the general expression, is just going to be a hundred times the number of price increases. Okay, so if we do two increases in price, that's a $2 hike, we're gonna lose 200 fans. Okay, so this is the expression that we get. So right away, you're gonna see that this is a quadratic equation when we expand it. So let's just do the expansion here. <clears throat> so three times 700 is 2100. Three times 100 is 300X or minus 300X. Seven times X is plus 700X. And then this is going to be minus 100x squared. Okay, so let's just collect like terms and put this in sort of our standard form. So this is going to be minus 100x squared um, plus 400x plus 2100. Okay, 
So at this point, we have a quadratic equation that we can graph, okay? And this is our revenue equation. Now, what we're looking to do here is we're, tra we're, we're trying to figure out what is the maximum revenue, okay? And we're also being told to figure out this uh, maximum revenue by using a complete the square technique. Okay, so what does max revenue mean? So max revenue, okay, we're trying to find the maximum height or the maximum point of this quadratic function. So that means we're actually looking for the vertex. Okay, the vertex of a parabola. Okay, so that is going to get, and remember the vertex is either going to be a minimum or a maximum. Now, because we have a negative value in front of the x squared, we're assuming that the parabola is probably going to look like this somehow, okay? And we're trying to figure out that point right there, okay? The maximum um, point. It's going to be a parabola that opens downwards. But we're also told to do this via completing the square. So <clears throat> completing the square means that we are going to have to sort of group off the, the x squared and the x term, okay? And then we're going to have to do a little bit of algebra to, to manipulate that. Okay, so what we're really trying to do here is we're trying to put this parabola in the form of y equals x minus h squared plus k. Okay, where h and k are our vertex points. Okay, so that's what our goal is and what we want to do. So how can we do that? So we'll start by um, grouping the equation here again. So I'm just going to write it down again. So revenue is minus 100x squared plus 400x. Now I'm going to kind of separate that. Um, put those, we're going to keep those together. Okay, and I'm just going to put the 2100 here on the side. So what I can do is I can take out a factor of negative 100 out of these two amounts and then write out the equation like this. Okay, so I'm going to take out negative 100 from here. That's just going to leave me with x squared. This is going to leave me with minus 4x, okay, and then plus um, 2100. I'm just going to leave a little space and keep it on the side there. Okay, so negative 100 times negative 4 is going to be plus 400. So I haven't changed the equation at this point. But now completing the square means that I'm going to have to add the missing term, okay, to this, to this function here and then compensate by adding the same number on the uh, on the other side. Okay, so what we are trying to do here is this. We are going to complete the square, means I'm going to have to um, add a term. So let me just make sure that's an X here. Okay, I'm gonna add a term here. Okay, and then whatever I do to the inside of that term, I'm going to have to um, do the opposite on the other side so that I, I don't change the equation, okay? So let me just do this part here in red here so it's a different color. So if you remember how to complete the square, what you're supposed to do is you take half of the middle term, okay? So that's negative four and then you're gonna divide that by two Okay, so that's going to be give you into that's going to give you a negative two, and then you square that term, and that becomes the part that you add there. So negative two squared is going to give us a four. Okay, so that allows us to complete the square on the inside brackets. But then <clears throat> because we've added this four here, we have to compensate for what we're adding because um, we can't change the equation. So if we add something on the inside here, we're going to have to subtract it on the outside. Okay, so I'm just going to erase this part here. Now that we know that part, that adding that four in there is going to make a perfect square. But what have we actually done to this equation? Well, we've actually multiplied this by a negative 100 times four. Okay, so negative 100 times um, positive four is negative 400, which means to balance this equation, we have to add plus 400 on the other side, 
okay, because we can't change things um, inside the equation. Okay, so the term we're missing here is going to be plus 400. All right, so I'm just going to erase this part here again so that you can just keep working on the bottom. And I'll do, the, I'll do the rest of it here in red so you can see it. So now what we need to do is factor this inside part because we know that's a perfect square and then just make sure that we, we collect our like terms. Okay, so we're going to keep the negative 100 here. The, this is a difference of perfect squares, which means we can use x minus 2 all squared. Okay, and if you think about it, that's um, x minus 2 is the is squared is the factored form of this because that's a perfect square. So we'd have negative 2 and we square that. That's our last term. Okay, and then that the middle term would give us minus 4. Okay, and then we have to add 2100 plus 400, which is 2500. Okay, so now what we have is we have this parabola in our vertex form. Okay. We know a couple of things here. We know a is equal to negative 100. That means the parabola opens down. We know h is equal to 2, and we know k is equal to 2,500. So that means our vertex point is 2 and 2,500. Okay, and 2 is the, the value of, of x that is going to um, give us the maximum point of 2,500. So to answer this question fully, what we're saying is that we would add $2 to the ticket price, okay, because that's what the 2 is telling us, which means our new ticket price is going to be $5, and our max revenue, okay, which is the vertex point of that parabola, is going to be $2,500. Okay, so two is the number of extra dollars we're adding to the ticket price. Okay, and then the 2,500 is the revenue, which is the, 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 uh, the maximum part of this parabola. So if you had to kind of visualize what this is, what you essentially have is you've got a parabola that kind of looks like this. Okay, the two is right here, and the top here is 2,500, and that's what that point is. That's our vertex point, 2 and 2,500. Okay, so that's how you would do this question where you have to do this via completing the square. So it's a little bit tricky because you have to generate this revenue equation. You have to expand it first. Then you have to put this equation into the vertex form of a parabola by using completing the square and where you group the terms. Okay, and then where we factored out something. And then you also have to make sure that you, when you complete the square, that you, whatever you add to making the, comp the square being complete, you have to compensate by doing the opposite on the other side. Okay, so in this case, we added actually negative 400 to this term. So that means we have to balance it by adding plus 400 on the other side. Okay, and then once we get that, we have our vertex form, and then we can pull out our key values for the parabola, and then say that the, that our max revenue is 2,500 if we increment the price by $2. Okay, so that's how this question would work.